is Emily Teacher, and today we will read Fast Food on the Fly. Have you ever seen a bat hanging in some high corner of a room? Were you afraid? A bat can't talk, but imagine it could. Let's hear what it has to say. Can bats really talk? No, they can't. So we're going to imagine or think about what a bat might say. And since bats can't talk, this story is not real, right? It is fiction. Let's start. You probably think I'm ugly. A lot of people do. Maybe it's my wide wings, enormous ears, and small body. Some people are afraid of bats because they think we will get tangled in their hair. That's silly. I can fly through a gap in a fence no wider than your hand. And I don't even touch the sides with my wings. Do you think I'm going to fly by accident into someone's hair? It's not very likely. Wow, in this paragraph, we have a lot of adjectives, right? Many describing words, wide wings, enormous ears, small body, right? These tell about the parts of the body. So they are adjectives. Let's keep going. Here is another thing you should know. I'm nosy, just like people. If I see a small opening near the roof or in the wall, I like to find out what's on the other side. So if you see me fly into your house, just open some doors and windows to help me get out. I don't want to be there any more than you want me there. Ah. So this bat is nosy. Nosy means you are curious or you want to know a lot of things, right? So this bat, just like a lot of people, is nosy. I am a small brown bat. I weigh less than half an ounce. Because I'm so light, I fly very well. I'm like an acrobat in the air. I need to be. My food is flying insects. Once I spot one, I go after it and scoop it up in my mouth. And I do it in the dark. Pretty clever, don't you think? People hate mosquitoes because they bite, but we bats love them. It is easy for me to eat a couple hundred bugs and still be hungry for more. So these are clever, bats are clever, right? Very smart. Let's keep going. You probably don't believe that I can catch bugs in the dark, but it's true. That's because I see them with my ears. Here's how I do it. I make sounds that are so high you can't even hear them. No human can. These sounds hit the bug I'm chasing. Then they bounce back to me. The sound tells me just where the bug is as I fly after it. My big ears help me catch the sounds. No matter how much it tries to get away, the bug doesn't have a chance. Wow. So, bats eat bugs that are flying. So, they make a sound. It bounces off of the bug and into their ears so they know where the bug is in the dark. Really interesting. Did you know that bats sleep by hanging upside down? This may seem strange, but there is a good reason for it. When I want to fly, all I have to do is let go and I'm in the air. I'm flying. If I started from the ground, my legs could not support me. All bats are like that. We have very strong wings, but weak legs. So when you see a bunch of us swooping and flying in circles just as it's getting dark, don't be alarmed. That's when the bugs come out. Flying bugs are our fast food. That is, they are fast, but we are faster. We are just enjoying our dinner. Okay. Thank you guys so much. 
We have links to all of our stories. If you're interested in taking a look at the links that are related to this article, we can send it through Kakao. Thank you.